Today's activity by a man eco detectives, the Pearl River problem, goes through each of the steps of the scientific method. When you click on the link to get to the website, here's your homepage and you're gonna click start a new game. And that's gonna take you to the problems. They're gonna give you some background information. So like scientists will do research and collect background information. You'll learn about species and diversity as well as water quality issues one at a time. So under species and diversity, you'll click through and look at comparisons. And as you go through this, you'll see a score here because they'll be asking you different questions. And in between the questions, there'll be a next button here at the bottom. Once you gather information about species diversity and abundance, then you're going to go back and click on water quality issues to see what they're asking you to look for. And they'll ask you some questions about that as well. Near the end of the water quality issues, it asks you to take an average. And just to remind you, you take the average by adding up all of these and dividing by the total number. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So add up all of this and divide by six and put your answer here and here. Once you gather all your data for the problem, you'll be able to move on to the next section, which is investigate and experiment. So this is your main screen, you just reviewed the problem. So if you ever forget what it is that you're asking you to do, you can go back to this. We're gonna then investigate an experiment, restoration, and then finally you'll submit your score. Just to let you know, it's important for you to save at each time you come back to the screen, because as you can see, you get points for each part. So, so far you've gotten points for the problem, reading the diagram and comprehension, and analyzing tables and graphs. And at any time, just go back to home. So now we're going to go to investigate and experiment. There are three possible hypotheses to today's activity. You will investigate each one of them. And if you look on your handout, you'll see the questions that are associated with each one. So it doesn't matter which one you start with. You can go with the one you feel is the strongest, but eventually you'll be going through all of them. For this, each hypothesis, they'll be asking you to collect data by clicking on data points. I mean, excuse me, at points on the graph map. And then you'll have to graph your data. For example, the first one, 0, 1. And that's not correct. So we'll try the other one, 0, 1. And that is correct. And so if you get it correct, you'll keep here in that sign until you make the entire line. Now you're going to connect the dots of your graph by just dragging your cursor to each point. And once you've connected all the dots, then you can analyze your data. Once you've tested one hypothesis, you're ready to go back and test the other two the same way. So you'll click on test other hypotheses and follow the directions for those as well. When you finish, you'll go back to home and you'll be ready for the next section, restoration. Again, remember at any time when you get back to this screen, you can go back to the score sheet and save your information where you're at. So now you can see I've done the problem as well as investigate and experiment. The last thing we have to do is go to the score sheet, I mean, excuse me, go back to the score sheet um, and save it before you do the last section restoration. So now we're going to try to fix the problem. Once you've finished all of the problems and you have numbers for every single one of your areas on this activity, make sure again that you have your first and last name. And then you're going to submit your score to me. And the email address is either on Canvas or also on your handout. Take a screenshot of this, attach it to Canvas, and then you are done.